in today's video I will be showing you a few methods you can try that will hopefully fix the problems you may be having with Steam. These problems could be Steam not launching, Steam might keep crashing or Steam just keeps freezing, just anything like that. But before we get started don't forget to like this video if you did enjoy it and it did help and also we have almost hit 40,000 subscribers so if you subscribe to our channel we really do appreciate it and it does help us produce more content. So the first thing that we need to do is just ensure we have the latest Windows 10 updates installed. To do this all you need to do is open the start menu and you now need to type in update. You now need to click on check for updates and you now need to click on check for updates again and if Windows does detect any new updates, it will then begin to download and install those updates. Once they have finished installing, go ahead and restart your computer and then launch Steam and see what happens. As you can see, my system is completely up to date, which is fine. That means I can move on to the next method and that is to right click on your Steam shortcut. You then need to click on properties. And you now need to click on compatibility and we now need to click on run this program as an administrator. You now need to click on apply and OK. But before we launch Steam this time, you now need to actually right click on your taskbar and you then need to click on task manager. We now need to go through our apps and our background processes and just close anything related to Steam. I'm actually going to quickly open Steam up just so you can see what sort of processes we are looking for. Okay, I have now launched Steam and straight away as you can see we have a Steam client bootstrapper. You need to go ahead and press end task on this and we then need to scroll down through the background processes and just make sure there is nothing else related to Steam. And as you can see everything looks good. So we can now go ahead and launch Steam. You may actually get a compatibility window pop up. Go ahead and just press continue and see if Steam works. If Steam still doesn't work, I'm going to press close. If it still doesn't work, then the next thing we need to do is right click on the shortcut and you now need to click on open file location. You now need to scroll to the top of this folder and we're now looking for the app cache folder. You now need to right click on this folder and go rename and we're just going to type old at the end of it. You can rename it to whatever you want but old will do and you now need to launch Steam again and see if it now works. If that didn't resolve the issue you're having then you can go ahead and rename that folder back and delete the new one that Steam just created and the next thing you want to do is just make sure you have no security software on your computer that's stopping Steam from working. If you have an antivirus program or a firewall, make sure Steam is added to the allow list. Also, it might be worth just disabling your security for a couple of minutes and see if Steam works when the security software is disabled. But just remember, you won't be protected from security threats while your security is disabled. If Steam does work when it's all disabled, then you know that the security software is causing the issue and you need to add it to the exceptions list. After trying that, and if you're still having no luck with Steam, then the next thing you want to do is just disconnect any external devices you have connected to your computer. That means disconnect a headset if you have a headset connected, controllers, portable drives, just anything you have connected to your computer other than your keyboard and mouse. Go ahead and launch Steam after disconnecting everything and see if that fixed the issue. If that didn't resolve the problems you are having then unfortunately the only other thing we can do is to reinstall Steam. And to uninstall Steam all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and then click on apps and features. We now need to search for Steam and you then need to click on Steam and click on uninstall. You then need to click on uninstall again. Before you press uninstall, 
Just keep in mind Steam will remove any games you have installed through Steam unless you have them moved to a different folder or backed up and you now need to press uninstall and it will now begin to uninstall Steam from our computer. Once Steam has finished uninstalling you now need to press close and we can now close down apps and features and you now need to click on the link that's in the description below. You would now end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to click on install Steam and we then need to click save file. You now need to run the setup file for Steam. You now need to go next and you now need to choose your language and then go next again and you now need to choose where you'd like to install Steam and then go install. Once Steam has finished installing you can go ahead and select finish and run Steam and then with a bit of luck that would have resolved all the problems you are having with Steam. I hope this video helped and you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.